Hi guys and welcome back to Andy's Fisher. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you the method I use to strip an African sickle female um, and what I do with the eggs. Okay guys, so before you strip a female African cichlid, there's a few tools you're going to need. Um, first of those tools, you're going to need an egg tumbler. Um, this is just a basic egg tumbler, you can get it on eBay, Amazon, and places like that. Um, it's not too dear, but £10 normally would get you one. Um, this will be to um, basically artificially incubate the eggs. Um, Think of it as a like a filter. The air tubing comes into here, bubbles, bubbles come up out of here, and creates the suction from down through here. Um, the eggs will sit in here, uh, but as you can see, nothing can get in through there, so no fish can get in there, and they, the babies can't get out. And the babies will just tumble away in here until they're free swimming, and then whenever they're free swimming, you can take them out. Um, I will do a close up when I have this set up with the eggs in it to show what it looks like. Okay, the uh, second thing you're probably going to need is some form of container. Um, I prefer to use white just because it's really easy then to see the eggs um, so you don't miss any. And it's also deep enough that once you put the water in here you can put the female in here and she'll be okay. It's deep enough for her to, to sit in it without, without struggling. Um, yeah. The next thing you're going to need is a hair clip. Basic hair clip. Every house has about 5,000 of these laying around the floor. Um, all you need is this and do that. That is it. That's all you need to do. So hair clip, bend it open. That's it. And the last thing you'll need is a turkey baster. Um, it's handy just for, once you've got the eggs in here, you can suck them up, put them into the tumbler, and away you go. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you now how to strip uh, a female. Okay guys, so here you have it. Um, this is a female. Um, she currently has a mouthful of eggs. Um, before you do this, make sure your hand's wet, um, just because the, if you're doing this with a dry hand, it can damage their scales and burn them. So, if we come in and gently get a hold of her, like so. So now we've got a hold of her. You're gonna take the uh, hair clip, gently put it in your mouth, bob her in and out of the water, like so. As you can see there, she's spitting tons of eggs. Now you can also do it without the the, um, the hair clip. You just rub the cheeks a wee bit and kind of put a wee bit of pressure towards the cheeks, towards the lips, like that. And that also works, but I kind of I find it stresses the fish a wee bit more. So this kind of in, out, in, out. Squeeze me back. There we are. A wee quick look. Oh. And she'll try and gather all them eggs back up again when she's in there. So you just need to be careful because the eggs and then lift her up again, like so. I'll dip her one last time. There we go. And that's her. Now she's ready. Now she can just be placed straight back into the tank. Now, just dry my hands here. Take this off the tripod. If you look very closely, they're all heads and tails. If I was to guess how many eggs are there, I would say there's maybe 60 to 70 eggs maybe. But that's a good sign, knowing that they're all, all the eggs are fertile and they're all heads and tails. Let's see if we can get zoomed right in. One here.
There you are. So next step is to move them into the tumbler. Okay guys, so to move them into the tumbler, you're gonna wanna get the tumbler, take the top off it. You're gonna take this over to the tank and this over to the tank, have everything set up in the tank ready to go. So all you need to do is attach this part onto the top, stick it to the glass and away you go. Okay, so use your turkey baster, suck them up, push them in and that's pretty much it. Once I have them into the tumbler, I'll show you a bit of a, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so there you have it. That is all the eggs tumbling away. Sorry, it's quite dirty. It's just these things don't really stay clean for very long and they start to become very hard to clean. Um, but yeah, that's them tumbling away. So they'll stay in there until they're completely free swimming and then they've absorbed all of the egg sacs. Um, so once they're free swimming and their egg sacs are gone, then they'll get moved out of here into a small fry tank where they can grow out for a bit and then they'll get moved out into a big grow out tank. Okay guys, so there you have it. Um, <clears throat> that's how I strip an African cichlid female and what I do with the eggs. I hope this has been very helpful. Um, if you like this sort of content, um, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already done so, um, if you hit that subscribe button, that'd be amazing. Um, yeah, thanks.